Hello, I'm Bruce Levy, President of International Power. We're honored to be part of the Goliath community and the Victoria region with our Coletto Creek Power Station. Coletto Creek and our 84 local employees have been active in the area since the late 1970s and have worked hard to assure that we're a responsible member of the community. I'd like to introduce you to Coletto Creek 2, the long-awaited expansion of the Coletto Creek Power Station that we're planning to build in partnership with South Texas Electric Cooperative. Working with STEC, we'll be generating power to fuel the growth of South Texas economy in the years ahead. I'm Mike Fields. I'm the Director of Project Development for International Power America. In January of 2008, the partnership between International Power America and the South Texas Electric Co-op jointly filed an air permit application with the TCEQ. In November of 2008, we received our draft air permit from the TCEQ, which lays out the restrictions and limitations on the new unit. The draft permit we've recently received has specific limits for all the major emissions that come from the Clutter Creek plant. The emission levels set in this permit are among the lowest in the nation. As a matter of fact, we're setting the standard for many of these emissions for the state of Texas. We're investing in the most advanced technologies to reduce emissions of sulfur, NOx, particulate and mercury. Michael Packard, I'm general manager of South Texas Electric Cooperative. South Texas Electric Cooperative is a member-owned cooperative of eight distribution cooperatives throughout South Texas. We serve about 190,000 accounts that uh, spans a distance from the Rio Grande Valley to Houston. Over the last three years, STEC has experienced a growth way beyond what we had experienced in the years prior to 2003 in the 10% area. That growth has produced a need for additional power and a uh, base load resource. In light of that, uh, we became involved with uh, Coletta Creek number two. Coletta Creek number two will add some diversity to our portfolio, which already includes hydro, some lignite, and 60% gas. Coletto Creek 2 will be a 650 megawatt coal-fired electricity generating facility that will provide affordable energy for more than 500,000 homes throughout South Texas in an environmentally responsible way. Coletto Creek Power Station was originally designed for two units, and this expansion fulfills a long-standing commitment to build a second unit at the site. The new plant will be built right next to the existing 632 megawatt unit at the Coletto Creek Power Station which has been in operation since 1980. Both units will share common facilities, thereby minimizing environmental impact. International Power worldwide is very committed to trying to improve the environment. The emission controls for Coletta Creek Unit 2 will meet the state of the art in all areas. I manage the air quality permitting application process for the Coletta Creek 2 project. The TCQ has put together a draft permit whereby Clover Creek Unit 2 has more stringent emissions for SO2, NOx, and mercury at or below the levels of any other pulverized coal power plant in the state of Texas. In fact, the control of mercury is more stringent than which is currently achieved in practice at any other pulverized coal-fired power plant in the state of Texas at this time. The environmental controls that are going to be installed on the Clover Creek Unit 2 project represent the best available control technology as well as maximum achievable control technology. The proposed control technologies that will be installed at Clover Creek Unit 2 include an SCR, or Selective Catalytic Reduction for NOx Control. It also includes a dry fluid gas desulfurization unit for the control of SO2, among other acid gases. It also includes the installation of a bag house or fabric filter for the control of particulates and mercury and upstream of that will be the injection of sorbent to help aid in the control of mercury. I'm the Director of Environmental Services for the City of Victoria. What we look at when we look at plant expansions in our area is how well those expansions will fit in with our ability to absorb more air emissions. Uh, Coletta Creek 2 fits well within those parameters. Based on the modeling that the City of Victoria did through University of Texas on Coletta Creek 2, 
the plant expansion would have minimal impact on the seven county area around Victoria and very little impact on the county itself and would be well within the limits that the state and federal government have set for ozone and proposed limits uh, for our county area. The City of Victoria has looked at the Coletta Creek 2 expansion and its impact on our air quality and on other aspects such as our economy and has been very supportive of this project and looks forward to the expansion and what uh, it would bring as far as our ability to produce electricity in the area, uh, give us a, a diversified means of obtaining electricity and uh, being a friendly employer within the community. There are no new water rights required from the Guadalupe River to meet the needs of the new unit at Coleta Creek. We'll be able to use our existing water rights entirely. I'm working with International Power on the development of Coleta Creek 2, Unit 2, at their facility. My specific role involves uh, water rights permitting and water supply planning for the project. The Coleta Creek Power Station, with, with two units in operation, will not need additional water supply sources. The existing sources recognized in their permit and in their contract with the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority are sufficient to meet the needs of the power station, two units in full operation. Based on the engineering studies that we've done to date, I expect that uh, Coleto Creek 2 and the operation of both units will actually enhance recreational opportunities on the reservoir because uh, higher lake levels will be maintained to facilitate the operations of both units. When I began uh, in the utility business in 1967, it was a, a privilege to have electric service. And since that time, it's become a right to have electric service. With that right, there is a responsibility by the utility to make sure that they provide low-cost energy. Because